You are at greater risk for obesity if you do not own a car and you live near fast food restaurants. That was the title of a research study published in the Journal of Urban Health recently. And what they had found was those people that owned cars were eight and a half pounds heavier than those that did not own cars except in areas of high fast food concentrations. And high fast food concentrations meaning five or more restaurants or fast food restaurants per mile of your house. They also found that non-car owners weighed 2.7 pounds higher than those car owners in those same areas. Another thing that they found was those people that did not own cars were actually 12 pounds heavier than those that did not own cars but did not live within this high fast food concentration. What they're looking for here, it sounds kind of confusing I know, what they're looking for was is there a relation between our body weight and the close proximity of restaurants or fast food restaurants, as well as how easy is it to get away from those locations? And what they're finding was obviously those people that do not have easy means of transportation, yet have these fast food restaurants close by, are more likely to frequent those. Pretty much common sense there. But what was interesting was those that even had cars were also heavier than those that owned cars but did not live near these fast food concentrations. So, my question is, how many fast food restaurants or restaurants do you have within one mile of your house? Leave your answers right here on the blog. I'd really like to know, you know, our little own indirect study here, is this study a valid study or is it just something that maybe they won't be able to reproduce? And I'd like to know your thoughts on your area where you live. Do you live near high fast food concentrations or restaurant concentrations? as well as do your friends live near these places and is there a difference? So if your friends do not live near them or you do not live near these fast food concentrations, is there a difference between the neighborhoods in regards to the amount of people that are maybe heavier or thinner? Leave your thoughts right here on the blog. I'd really like to know, kind of do our little own indirect study on if this is realistic or not.